Hey, I'm Chris, and I've always been very close with my mom. I guess it's because my dad left us when I was a baby. Ever since, our favorite activity was her breastfeeding me. But on my 10th birthday, she asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. I was shocked and started crying because I loved drinking my mom's milk. It tastes much better than cow milk. Because even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum! That's why I told her I would never stop drinking her milk. And to this day, every morning and every evening, my mom comes into my room to breastfeed me. I guess the only weird thing is that I'm 16. I actually didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager because my mom homeschooled me until 8th grade. After that, I went to a public school and when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? It tastes amazing. There are lots of health benefits and I have a really close relationship with my mom because of it. The only thing I wish is that my mom was less overprotective and less involved in my life. I often feel like I'm living in a bubble, like she won't let me play soccer with my classmates because she is worried about me being injured. And when I meet up with friends at a mall, she wears a wig and follows us wherever we go to make sure I'm safe. It's super annoying, but most of the time, she doesn't allow me to go outside at all. She says it's for my own safety, but I think she's just jealous when I'm hanging out with my friends because she doesn't have any friends herself. And if I should ever get a girlfriend, my mom would probably go crazy and try to destroy our relationship because I don't think she could handle sharing her son with another woman. But isn't it a normal part of life to become independent of your parents? To move out and start your own life and your own family? Well, I know it will break my mom's heart, but as soon as I go to college, I will move out of her place. I haven't told her yet, but I already made the decision. Her style of parenting already made me become the weird kid in school. Because whenever something happens that I don't like, I just start crying or screaming. I know it's immature, but I can't help it. My emotions just take over. Like one time a classmate of mine took a potato from my plate and ate it. He knew I would get upset about it but he probably didn't expect what I did next. I got so mad that I threw the rest of my plate into his face and then I started screaming as loud as I could in the middle of our cafeteria. It took me a few seconds to realize that I had embarrassed myself in front of my whole school. It was the most pathetic moment in my life and now everybody thinks that I'm a complete weirdo. I actually blame my mom for me being so immature. She homeschooled me until I was 14 and I never had any other kids to play with, so I never learned the rules of how to interact with other people. I guess she is scared of losing me and wants me to stay immature, so that I'll never move out of her home. That's why I recently told her I wanted to join the military once I turned 18. I was just joking, but she almost had a heart attack and started begging me not to do it. She said it's too dangerous for a little boy like me. I got angry and wanted to tell her I'm not a little boy anymore, but then she offered me to play hide and seek again, just like in the old times. It's a game where my mom hides somewhere inside our house and once I find her, I can drink her milk as a reward. We hadn't played this game in years. So I got really excited and we ended up playing for hours. It felt so good and comforting because it was just like in the old times. But afterward, I realized my mom had tricked me into being a little boy again. It's all a part of our selfish plan to keep me immature. Anyways, for the next two years, I will continue to live with my mom, and I'm not planning to stop breastfeeding anytime soon. I simply enjoy it too much. But I do know that at some point, I need to grow up and become independent of my mom. Because right now, I'm a pathetic weasel that can't even take care of himself. So if I ever want to have a wife and kids, I first need to become a mature and reliable man. Anyways, thank you for listening to my story, and please subscribe to this channel.